Good day, everybody. Hello. How are you today? Happy Monday, TGIM. Thank God it's Monday. Hope you had a good weekend. Hope you were able to put up your defenses. That's the right word. Defenses against that old diet devil. Hello. Hello, everyone. Good day, good day. Hello, Judy. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Eric. We'll get this party started. This is our Q&A session. We want to welcome you if you're new. Uh, we also want to thank our partners for helping us do what we get to do every week. Really appreciate you. Couldn't do it without our great partners. We do ask that everyone that attends these sessions uh, be either going through or have concluded going through the Fast Track system. You'll get a lot more from these sessions if you've been through Fast Track. Uh, some of the stuff that we talk about, especially food combinations, can scare some of our new folks off if you haven't went through Fast Track. It really isn't that hard to do or learn, but you, you need to go through Fast Track. You need to earn that Fast Track badge so that you understand food combinations and, and insulin control. And then we can begin to personalize your experience and journey and you can make Shibboleth all yours because we know everybody has different needs. But we all have to start off on that same nutritional foundation and we'll get fantastic results. I've lost over 100 pounds myself, come off all prescription medications, and all I've needed is my local grocery store. That's all I've needed. And that's all you'll need, the knowledge, your local grocery store, and then the will to do what you need to do. And, and why not do it? It's easy. It's real easy to do. All right, everybody, what are your questions today? Let's get started. Please click the Q&A button. If you want to make sure that I get to your question, I'll watch the thread and try to answer your question, but it's best to put it in the Q&A section and uh, that way I can keep up with it a lot better. All right, let's get started. Questions on nutrition, behavior modification, personalization. What are you up against? What things uh, do you find uh, that you, you're objecting to? You know, we have we all deal with mental objections. You know, it's too expensive. It takes too much time. Can't you make this easier, Travis? Can't you do this, Travis? Throw it at me. Let's find solutions together. Your life is literally on the line. I want you to, I want you to be a lot better off than how I found you, not worse off. So let's get started. Hey, good morning, Tabitha. Good morning, good morning. We do this Monday through Friday at 10.30. Yes, yes ma'am, 10.30 a.m. every Monday through Friday, Lord willing, Lord willing. Laura, first question. Does the water I drink in my approved shake count as part of my water intake? No, you tried to pull a fast one on me there, sweet friend. No, 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 water is water. Hey, here's how you count your water on Planet Shibola. You need to get a minimal, it's not that much, Laura. You need to get a minimum of a half a gallon up to one gallon of water a day, water in, fat out, water in, poop out. If, you, if the waste isn't coming out, the weight's not gonna come off. You need to stay properly hydrated to efficiently burn fat. You need that hydration. Here's how we look at water that we drink as far as that requirement. A minimum, only a, Laura, only a minimum of a half a gallon of water up to a gallon of water a day. We count water as, if we put it this way, it's not water if you wouldn't wash your skin with it in the shower. So would you turn on the Diet Coke and wash your skin? Would you lather up in your favorite protein shake? No. So if we wouldn't wash our skin with anything other than water, why would we be washing our internal organs with anything other than water? That's how I look at it. Am I going to continue going through the fast track overview at all this week? I am going to continue going through it. We'll get to part of it today, depending on the time we have left. I knew I had a lot of questions to answer today. But the main thing is, y'all, fast track is pretty laid out. I mean, it's pretty perfectly laid out. You go through the seven laps, you watch the videos. If you have, Eric, if you have any question on any of that that you went through so far, now's a great time to get that answered. Now, I can't go through it for you, right? No, but I would bore everybody to death 
if I went through the laps. But, you know, this week I am going to do some board work. I've got a whiteboard behind me. I am going to do some board work, talk about categories, talk about the shield. But please do make sure that you go through the laps and go through those videos Kim filmed. I'm up against an apron belly. How do I get rid of it? Follow the program. That's all you got to do. Follow the program. And then we want to, once we, we feel really good about the nutrition aspect of the program, you got to start that strength training. I don't want you to start all of that at the same time. If, you're, if you haven't been eating right, you haven't been exercising, you haven't been supplementing, too many people try to do it all from right out of the gate and they get discouraged because it was just too much. Let's start with good nutrition. That's how you make the greatest headway. Getting your body fat percentage as a female, I'm assuming you're female, uh, getting your body fat percentage under 30%, you'll start to take care of that some. Then you need to start strength training. That's really the only way. There's no miracle there. Stacy, you talk about staying away from white bread. What about the Lewis Healthy White Bread? Is that in the library? Stacy, have you checked the library for that? Just because it's white doesn't mean it won't be approved as long as it's fortified with protein and or fiber that neutralizes the fat bus. Now, here's your options today. You can go grab me a link for Lewis, never heard of it, Lewis Healthy White Bread, and we will check it here for everybody right here, right now, so that we all learn together. Or you can go check the library. It may already be in the library. There's more than 100 approved breads in the library already. Joni, when going and doing a line of shark day, can you eat the skin on the chicken? Yes. The skin on the chicken has no carbohydrate. It's part of the animal. You can have it. It would count as a category four. Sarah Jackson says, Stacy, that bread is already approved and already in the library. So let's check our library, everyone. If you ever think, is, can I have this? Can I have it? Take, how long did it take y'all to look up that? How long did it take up to look to look up Lewis Healthy Life Bread? Oh, is, I, I thought it was just Healthy Life. So y'all give me the full name. Yeah, I know what Healthy Life Bread is. I just, the Lewis thing threw me off. I just always call it Healthy Life. Not even five seconds. Sarah said it took less than five seconds. Now I know in this day and time, that's way too long. But Elon Musk is coming out with a thing that we can implant in our head and we'll have it instantly, right? So we can get the implants in our head within the next five years. I think he said in less than five years, we can get the implants. And then that way it won't even take five seconds because I know five seconds is way too long. Travis, you're being a smart aleck. No, I'm not. I know I am up against it, but my client base, the need for instantaneous uh, assistance, I got to provide it or y'all will leave me. I get it. We got to wait on Elon because. Five seconds is pretty fast. We'll have if we're gonna beat that, we got we're gonna have to wait on Elon to put that in our head, and then we can just think it, and it'll boop, it'll be in there. And we'll know that it's approved. How do I change the wow challenge that I accidentally put in yesterday? You asked for help, so Laura, you put in one accidentally incorrect. Miss Joni can help you. Miss Joni, Laura News needs help with deleting a wow challenge. Any nutrition questions today? Anytime you need support, your ways of getting technical support, go to myspot.com, click on the chat button. Uh, hopefully we've got somebody there helping you. Uh, or email us at info at myspot.com. April's liking the partner exercises. I'm glad. If you'll do them, it'll get better and better and better. You know, you'll get stronger, faster than you ever thought that you could with that progressive system. Glad that you're enjoying them. Any other questions? Not a question, but I'm proud of y'all and I appreciate you and y'all's hard work for me and my family. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. We're proud of you. Proud to be a part of your life. If I have to wait on five, anything on five seconds, I get impatient too. So I understand. 
That's the best we can do right now. Anyone else? Any other questions, comments, things that you need help with or help on, don't understand? Eric, feel free to ask any questions that, that you'd like for me to cover about Fast Track. Are all hearts and minds clear? You're good to go? If so, we'll end our Monday session. Yeah, uh, I, I, it can be a little confusing because healthy life bread is white. It looks like white bread, but they fortified it with a little extra protein and fiber. Unlike a traditional white bread, the whiter the bread, the quicker you're dead. So we're good. You know, we're, we're good with that healthy life bread as long as we don't overeat it. Now, it's best to avoid bread altogether. If you're trying to lose weight, not even approved bread is good for you. Uh, if we were trying to be eat a real wholesome diet, we would only eat things that grew from the ground and roamed the earth and that were minimally processed. Uh, so we would exclude bread. But I don't know about you, but every once in a while as part of my lifestyle, I want a crust or a tortilla or a bread. So I have found countless lesser evils where I can still have my burger, my hot dog, my pizza. So that's why we have certain approved breads that are a little better than the traditional breads. Can I elaborate on the volume of food? Not sure I understand what you mean, Joanna. Uh, you, you don't need to stretch your stomach. Yeah, so number one, you gotta look at calories. You gotta look at calories. Ideally, you should stick to the Shibola Shield. Let's just unpack all this on our, on our digital whiteboard. So Joanna's question is, talk to me about the volume of food. So let me talk about the volume of food, how we approach that with Shibola. First off, we've got some components that we live by. We've got our water. We've got our journal. This is daily components. And food combinations to control insulin, portion control to control the volume of food that we eat, and then our timing rule. If I follow all of these in a given 24-hour period, what kind of day do I call that, everybody? That's right. That's a perfect day, yes. So here we have a perfect day. How many perfect days does it take to get into efficient fat-burning mode? Takes two. So Joanna's question is about the volume. So we do that, we control it with our portions. What is our eating episode portion rule, everyone? Our two hands or a portion control dish, six to eight inch plate or almost a two cup bowl, okay? If we go beyond that, even if we stay low with our calories, we're stretching our stomach. Can y'all think of, of a time that you desire to stretch your stomach? We do it all the time. We feel it. But do you, do you desire to do that? You're really just looking for the pleasure that the food is giving you. But the unintended consequence is you're stretching your stomach. Okay? So anytime, even if we've eaten the right portion, but we feel our stomach stretched, we've eaten too much. Now, another way to control your portions is to count calories. We don't recommend that for most people, but if you are more of, uh, of one of those OCD people and you need to really know every calorie, count every calorie, and you don't trust the portion rule, or you don't trust yourself, and, and you need one more checkpoint, then you want to look at your calories. What we do for our daily calorie outlay is if we're in the weight loss mode, we take our ideal weight times eight. So I wanted to be, ideally, I wanted to be 200 pounds. So I would take 200 pounds times eight. That would be 1,600 calories. So throughout my 24-hour day, I would want to eat Shibola the proof foods and stay well below 1,600 calories. Does that make sense, everyone, before I go further? So important. 
if we eat Shibboleth approved foods and we don't go over three eating episodes a day, we're not going to be in danger of, of overdoing it. We're not going to be in danger. If we're strictly controlling our portion, eating Shibboleth approved foods in the right combo, we're not going to be worried about too much volume. But if we need an extra checkpoint, ideal weight times eight. Does anybody remember how you count calories, uh, assess your calorie load once you reach maintenance? It's your new weight. You've reached it. You've reached your ideal weight times what number, everyone? Times 10. Very good. So once I got to 200 pounds, I can maintain that 200 pounds with 2,000 calories for me because my goal was 200 pounds. Make sense, everyone? Does that answer your question, Joanna, about volume? Never want to stretch our stomach. Next question. I'm trying to think of how to ask this but not offend. If it's a sugar-free food, there is still a limit. Like too much is still too much. Yes, yes. Uh, in fact, anytime we eat a freebie, now, now see that opens up a whole class though, Joanna. That's not a five minute answer. Just because something says sugar free doesn't mean that it's calorie free. If it's sugar free and calorie free, it's because it has sugar alcohol nine times out of 10. And if you overdo it with sugar alcohol, you're going to have gastrointestinal distress. In other words, you're going to charge yourself. Is everybody with me? We're going to shard. Is that the term shard? That's what will happen. But just because something sugar free does not mean that it's fat free, does not mean that it's calorie free. In fact, it could be loaded in calories. So what do we do, everyone, if we're not sure about the sugar free food? Where do we check to see how to consume that sugar free food? in the library. So we want to use our library. What if my sugar-free food that I want, Travis, isn't in the library? What do we do if it's not in the library, everyone, and we want to put it in there? We don't eat it, right, but we reach out for help and we find out if we can approve it and put it in the library for all. So good question. I made the, car Michelle, I made the carb quick blueberry muffins from the library, used egg beaters instead of egg whites. Will that change the weight loss meter? No. Why do I seem to have more discipline when fasting than when having a holiday? That's an easy one. You're not spiking your blood sugar. When you spike your blood sugar, uh, your appetite goes through the roof because of a hormone. What hormone causes your appetite to go through the roof? Insulin. When you fast long enough, your metabolism burns through all of the glycogen. Your appetite will be high while you're burning through glycogen. When your body has eat up all that glycogen, then your body's going to start burning fat. And when your body starts burning fat and starts uh, getting into a mild ketosis, you won't be hungry at all. Blood sugar equal insulin equal high appetite. Frequent eating causes accelerated appetite. In fact, they've told us they've told us so wrong. Let me turn this off. They've told us so so wrong that eating multiple times a day will will squelch hunger. How many of you've noticed? The more you eat, the hungrier you are. The more you eat, the more frequently you eat, the more hungry you are. You get in the habit of eating, the habit of grazing, that's part of it. Plus, you're always dealing with glycogen and, and the insulin, and you, you, you just can't help yourself. Eating less actually squelches hunger more. And then when we do eat, if we control insulin, that meal won't. Up, up signal more appetite. You'll have more appetite control. Any other questions?
What are the best bars for on the go during weight loss phase, being on the road traveling? Quest Bar, uh, peanut butter patties from Health Smart, pecan clusters from Health Smart, and they also help control appetite. Uh, one bar. Quest cookies. Uh, Shibola high protein wafer would be my go to. That's, there's some good ones. Power Crunch, you're right. Power Crunch, Eric. In your opinion, do ketones being sold as a drink work? No, they do not. Good question. Ben Greenfield says they do because he sells them. But no, no, they don't. They offer very little benefit except for the first few days, and then your body makes some adjustments, and then they do very little good. They will for a it'll help for a couple of days with your energy levels, but beyond that, as your body adjusts, they they they're not that beneficial. It's a great marketing. It's not a scam, but the difference it makes is negligible. The RX bar is a good clean bar, sure. Anyone else? Good questions today. I hope y'all are getting something out of it. Take one day at a time around here if you're new. All we got to do is have a perfect day today, folks. We're not worried about tomorrow. God may not give us a tomorrow. This life is on loan, everyone. So all we've got to do is get through today. We do our best today. And if God restores us tomorrow, we'll do our best tomorrow. How many of you have had a perfect day? And you at the end of that day, you, you survived the diet devil. You had a perfect day and you felt so much better. Then why wouldn't we want to do that again tomorrow? April, many times I have seen people post their meal with a sandwich and Quest chips. Would that count as a meal and a snack because of adding in the chips? That's how I count it. You could make, you could make the argument that it all together is a meal because it's under 350 calories, but I'm a little harder on myself because I want better results. So I count the sandwich as a meal and I count the chips as a snack. That's one of those gray area ones where if you want to be more liberal with yourself, you could count the Quest chips and the sandwich as just your meal. I don't do that though. I like to be a little tougher with myself and count them. The, I like to count that as two eating episodes. A lot of people only count it as one and they're not wrong, uh, but they, don't, they won't get the results I get. What is vitamin supplement advisory? Um, is there one that you want me to advise on? I simply recommend that everyone that can afford it take AdvoCare Metabolic Nutrition System. That takes care of all of your needs, other than that that the doctor would have you to supplement with. Good job, Amanda. Labeling the food, outstanding. My granddaughter is 13. She said she does not like to eat breakfast. I found myself telling her they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I told her, sweetheart, that's not true. I found it strange after I said, breakfast is, no. I don't care if breakfast comes at 4 p.m. It just simply means that you're breaking the fast. I used to teach 15 years ago. I taught you need to eat within an hour of rising. Boy, was I wrong. That was the science back then, though. But I don't believe that anymore. Um, we just want you to limit your eating episodes to three or less for optimal results over a 24-hour period. Uh, it doesn't matter to me if you, you know, 
I eat depending on what my day looks like. When will I need the energy? I prefer to operate my day. I seem to have more mental clarity and focus on the empty stomach and then have a, 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 an approved dinner. We can always eat breakfast foods for dinner. I do that a lot, eggs and biscuits for dinner. I like doing that with some gravy, Chabot approved biscuits, eggs, gravy for dinner. Yeah. Bowl of cereal for dinner if it's approved. Pop tarts, not legendary pop tarts, not regular pop tarts. Um, legendary pop tarts for dinner. I've done that. Way, way to go, though, as far as uh, doing this with your grandchildren. It'll save them a lot of grief and pain in the future. Training up a child the way it should go. I love it. Is there a problem with breaking the awesome vitamin in half? Is it time released? Not time released so much. Um, I guess you could say by default it is because it takes some time to break it down, which is what time release really means. Uh, there's no problem breaking it in half. It's a pretty large uh, tablet. No problem breaking it in half. You can crush it, break it, however you need to get it down. Mix it. Anyone else? This can be a week, it can be an amazing week where you drop some jiggly, itchy, itch, jiggly, itchy fat. If you lose a couple of these this week, that's a lot off the rear end. You can do it with dedicated effort. When you take happy juice, do you get the same effects from it when mixing with something versus shooting it straight? I would say because I'm sipping it, it doesn't happen as fast. I prefer that though. My wife shoots it. She gets an immediate effect. Uh, it's just up to you how, how you wanna use it. Next, I have already had five holidays so far this month and feel like crap. I keep losing the same five to seven pounds over and over again. What is the quickest way to get this weight off and keep that momentum? The first thing is to change your current mindset. I say that with a lot of love and respect. I can tell, I've been doing it a long time. I mean, no harm. Your mindset isn't right. Um, so if you think about it, you've already had five days and now you want to do a crash course. You know, it will never work. Let me ask you this. You're anonymous, so I'm not picking on an individual. I don't know who you are, uh, but it, God bless you. It's your mindset, though. How many times have you tried to cram course a diet before? You may or may not want to answer that. I'm just giving you and the group time to think about that. How many times have you – What what is the definition of insanity, everyone? Yes, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Mindset's all wrong. It is not a lifestyle mindset that you currently have, but you're working on it so we can get there. So have you worked out your why? Do you have a big enough reason to live this lifestyle? Are you in enough pain? And do you seek enough pleasure that you're excited about that you will pick up the tools that we give you and use them. Once you've established that, how do you get there? Just doing what I tell y'all. And it works. I can't make anybody do it, though. It would save 
every life that is now in jeopardy across our globe. I know, Travis, you, you're so about your program, aren't you? Yep, it's flawless, as far as I'm concerned. Because anybody can do it, and it doesn't cost anything. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. So if you really want to lose the weight as fast as you can, I think it's the wrong mindset. But if you want to do it, I'll tell you how to do it. You may be that one in one million people who are special. But anyway, we drink our water every day. We journal. I bet you may, I shouldn't say that. You may not be journaling. You eat in the right food combinations, but how do you do it the fastest? Red column combinations. How many eating episodes a day? Two to three red column combinations daily. Then we fast 12 to 16 hours, including sleep, and we walk 15,000 steps per day. If you do those things, you'll drop, if you've got more than 30 pounds to lose, you'll drop three to five pounds every single week. Does that make sense, everyone? Did that make sense? Did y'all get it? Am I being inconsistent or do I say the same thing every single class? In the decade plus that some of y'all have been blessing me with your attendance, have I ever changed? No, because it works. I don't need to change. It always works if you do it. Now, I didn't say half arse it. If you halfway do it, you'll get a halfway result. If you do all of it, now Travis, that just sounds hard. Let me, let me throw this at you. Let's say that I lose three pounds a week for six months. That's 24 weeks, three pounds a week. I could lose more than 75, 80 pounds in less than six months by having a red column breakfast, lunch, and dinner, walking, drinking my water, and boom, I've arrived. It, I mean, it would happen It would happen a lot faster than that, to be honest. It's just up to me. Do I have the will to do it? It's easy to do this. Why don't more people do it if it's so easy, Travis? Because it's easy not to, and that's your current habit. Habitually right now, you're not doing this because it's easy not to do it but you can just as easily make doing this become a habit and it's easy to do it. It's easy. My life, my eating lifestyle is so easy. I have to be careful not to lose too much weight. I can't believe that I'm in this place now after dealing with this obesity issue for so much of my life. Now I'm in a place, if I don't watch out, I get too skinny. Isn't that a beautiful thing? You just got to do it. But I do things different than other people do. I get up every day and I look at my why again. I look at my vision tracker. I look at my vision for my life. I make sure my pantry and fridge are full of Shabbat approved goodies. I follow the shield. I celebrate at the end of each day that I had a perfect day or a holiday. It's not hard. I don't look at other people anymore and go, it ain't fair. I used to do that a lot. It ain't fair. They can eat whatever they want. It ain't fair. Wrong mindset. Had to change all that. It takes a big person to change. It takes, it takes a, a big hearted person to change. And you are that person that you have to decide. So I know you're to drink our drink water every day. If you don't get 64 ounces, does this really slow your weight loss down? No, but it's not good for you not to get at least 64 ounces of water. I know you said that you use lots of supplements. Do you use uh, hydroxymethylbutyrate, HMB? Uh, I do, I do. I use it when I'm strength training. I use Advocare's HMB product. Uh, I'm not sold on its weight loss impact. 
but in its strength building and recovery impact. So yes, I do use HMB. Let me ask y'all this. Let me get you to think a little bit. It's okay to say yes or no. I want you to be honest. Is it hard for you to drink 64 ounces of water in a day? Do you find that difficult? Yes or no? Now I'm going to help you here, okay? Not going to be mean. Good. Most people say no. Paula says, yes, it's hard. Shauna, it's hard. I was hoping we'd get a few of those. Okay. So sometimes it's hard to drink your water. Okay. How many of you find it hard to journal? Difficult to journal. Me, got a few of those. Got a few that might find it hard to journal. Gotcha. Now, let me ask you a couple of different questions about that. Do you believe, forget about whether it's easy or hard for you, do you believe if you would drink your water and record your foods in an accountability journal that it would assist your weight loss efforts? Most everyone that's reasonable is saying, yes, I do believe it would help. But it's hard. some said it's hard. Those of you that said it's easy to do and I believe it will help me, you've got this. Those of you that said it's hard to do and I believe it would help me, but it's hard, I want to talk to you. Is the actual act of me picking up this glass of water and drinking it, is that, was that hard? Was that painful for me to do right then? Was that, in reality, was the act of me doing it hard? I mean, hurt? No, nobody in their right mind. If, if you think drinking water is painful, like this is gonna hurt me, then I don't know how, you, how you've lived this long. All right. How many of you writing your food down and how you feel about it is actually a painful act? I mean, it hurts your fingers. It's difficult to pick up the pen. It just is so hard, the act of it. I know it's hard for you to make yourself do it, but is the act of doing it hard? It's kind of like brushing your teeth. Brushing your teeth is not hard to do. Putting on your underarm deodorant is not hard to do. You're in the habit of it because of the benefits of it. So if you feel that it's hard when it's really not hard, why do, on the Shibola shield, what is component number one? Water. What is component number two? Journal. The reason I did that was so that I could be honest with people. I put the two easiest components at the top. Because if we can't do those or won't do those, we're simply not ready to lose weight. We don't desire to lose weight. That's all there is to it. We just don't desire it yet. So we don't have it. It's a hard problem. We have a desire problem. Does that make sense, everyone? So what we need to work on is not drinking more water. We need to work on our desire to get healthy and become a fit person. We got to work on our desire. We do that through cultivating a strong why. Hope that helps. Anyone else?
If you're new here, please don't forget to go and, and go through your fast track material. I'm going to click dashboard. Whoops, let me log in. Oh, there it goes. Okay, finally. Kept typing in the wrong password. All right. <laughs> so I'm logged into the website. I click dashboard. Simply go to fast track down here at the bottom. I've got my seven laps. Everything I need to get started with this great program is right here in the lap system. I click combination chart. I find my combination chart. I click the program book. There's the program book. Everything I need is here. Find your ideal weight. Complete a body assessment. Create list of your favorite foods. It's a good little training system. Easy to do, easy to follow. Okay? Now, we want to make sure we watch these videos. Again, any download resources you need are here. And you go through the videos, you'll be through in probably two, two and a half hours. You don't even have to do it all at one time. Your Shibola Shield's covered. Your food categories are covered. The Fat Bus is covered. Easy peasy. And then you come to these sessions Monday through Friday at 1030. You're literally getting a complete system where we're walking you through it and you're getting me live every single day to answer your questions, to make sure there's no thing that you're confused about, that all your problems are solved. You've got, when I'm not here, you've got my great team, Joni, Tammy, Sasha. I mean, how can you go wrong here? How can you go wrong? This is a no miss, can't miss program everything you need, the grocery store. It's so easy. Just need you to decide, do, and it's done. Anybody else before we go today? Can I get to the dashboard while I'm just checking this out? Um, pretty sure, I think you can still go to www.shibolathlifestyle.com. And I think, let me go look. I think that's still open. Let me, let me double check though. If I understand you right, Yeah, it looks like they took that down. Yeah, yeah, the free program is not, it's down. So it uh, looks like you'd have to pay seven bucks for Fast Track. So if that's something you want to do, if you just want Fast Track and you want to check it out, it's $7 to get in. You don't like it, we'll give you your $7 back. How about that? Just email us at info at myshibolath.com. Info at myshibolath.com. And uh, they'll get you into Fast Track for seven bucks. If you don't want to do that, too much money, just keep coming to these classes and asking questions, and I'll do my best to help you. Can I explain a May Day? Uh, yeah, yeah. So here's the definition when we're living our lifestyle we have a perfect day, Shibola's perfect day, or we have a Shibola's holiday. Is a holiday a part of the program? Is it allowed? Yes. If you're in the weight loss mode and you go over six holidays, what do we call that type of day?
a blow it day. There you go. Why don't I call holidays blow it days? Because you shouldn't feel like you blew it. It's part of our lifestyle. But when you go beyond six and you're in the weight loss zone, it's a blow it day. And when you have a blow it day, we recommend you call for a May day. That's the poetic part of me. When you have a blow it day, call for the May day. Don't let this thing get out of hand. You've had your seventh holiday and you're trying to lose weight. Get a mentor appointment. Get some help. Got to get back motivated because you're blowing it. That's what that means. You've lost all motivation. You've lost all hope. Time for a mentor point. Need a May Day. Where is the information where it shows how many Coach Mo meals I have until I reach the ideal weight? It's at the bottom of the website. So I scroll down. Whoops, I got to go out of this. This is that other page. Hold on. Go to mysaboleth.com. Oops. All right. Go to mysaboleth.com. Go all the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. And we want to do the weight loss calculator at the bottom. Weight loss calculator. I put in my current weight, I put in my goal weight, and I click count. And it says, if you have 78 Shibboleth weight loss meals in a row, you will lose up to 13 pounds in only 26 days. Little fun calculator. As long as you're doing red column meals, you'll get really close to your goal as it says you will. Does that make sense? Tammy's also helping. Thank you, Tammy. Am I missing something about paying? I knew there were going to be changes. This is okay. Wasn't aware. We still haven't opened enrollment. Uh, the new pricing, if you have people that's wanting to get back, get in, I'm just waiting on my development team. I've been waiting uh, for a couple of weeks, and I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm at their mercy. So we're trying to open back up enrollment. And when we do, it will be $7 for fast track per year. It will be $99 for fast track journey and tiger. Uh, fast track is just the beginners program with the beginners library, $7. And then the full program for everything, including fast track would be 99 per year. So, if you know someone wanting in, we'll let them in. No, just have to email us till we get it back open and on the website. Do y'all feel like that's a fair price? Seven dollars a year for fast track, ninety-nine dollars a year for all levels. Fast track is for new members, yes. It's for all members, not just new members, but it's where new members should start. Email at info at myshiboleth.com. Info at myshiboleth.com. We can manually put you in the system, but I'm waiting on my development team to show me mercy and get us back open so that you don't have to email us. You can just sign up on the website. Not sure I understand about partners. Does this apply to partners? Partners is a separate thing. Um, the, our current pricing, we lose money off every single member. So partners help us to make up our shortfall, uh, and they get partner perks. So it's different. The partnership is people who feel led to help Shibboleth in various ways. So.
We try to be and operate as a ministry first and foremost. We are a business, but we try to operate with ministry principles. We turn no one in need of our help away. Anybody else? Our hearts and minds clear, I suppose. I want to thank Joni and I want to thank Tammy for all the good work that they do. I want to thank all of our partners. Looking forward to connecting with you, Lord willing, every day this week at 10.30 a.m. We're trying to get some challenges pushed out there. We're, we're trying to restructure internally. Amazing changes, we hope. Uh, we'll keep changing and evolving and trying to meet you where you are and provide the tools and support that you need. All right. Bless y'all. Have a good day.